saying who we are, who is Venice, basically. And uh, this is the last slide, so sorry about that. <laughs> so Venice was, uh, was uh, an organization that merged from two organizations that joined together. That's kind of a difficult thing. So it was uh, the uh, British Comparative International Education Society joined with the British Association of Teacher Research and Overseas Education in 1997 and that what makes base and before then it was the British section of the European Comparative Education but that long history back. What BASE does basically is a few things and that's one of the main aims that BASE does is promoting uh, comparative and international education. In doing that we do uh, lots of uh, interdisciplinary research, we facilitate research publication and uh, one of the things also we do is uh, encourage networking among the uh, student and scholar in the field of international education and comparative education and also support the student, organize conference meeting and being a good resource for the policy makers. <coughs> there are a few things and benefits that we as students could gain from and also non-student could gain from join, joining the base. Helen will talk about some of them. Yeah, so as you can read there, um, BASE helps to sponsor some events, not only this kind of events, BASE only ones and other ones with organi other organizations like UGFIAT, um, but also if you yourselves as, as students have ideas about what organizations like BASE can do, then please get in touch with us because there are funds available for, for good ideas. So please, if you have any ideas, do approach one of us during the day. Um, as well as sponsorship of events, um, networking, as you can see today, obviously we've uh, set aside a lot of time for networking over coffee, always important. Um, and in addition to these sort of events where we're face to face, and members are also able to pass on relevant information in terms of other events that might interest you that are going on, um, both here and abroad, and also funding opportunities. Oh. Sorry. Back. <coughs> so, another benefits for research students, so when you have um, finished your doctoral studies, for example, you're able to get your abstract um, printed on the BASE website and also in the okay. journal Compare. And speaking of which, further um, advantages, free and reduced annual journal subscription such as Compare, which is the main journal um, linked with BASE, 20% discount on uh, Routledge books and also reduced registration fees for certain conferences, workshops and seminars. So as you can see, the students can join based at a discounted rate of £18, which we think is pretty competitive. I'd like to see yes. uh, One thing also about COMPARE, and uh, that's very important. As a student, sometimes at this stage, we might not need to register because it's free to access from the university. But when you go, especially for us as international students, when you go overseas and go back home, we get COMPARE wherever you are around the world the same price, the same subscription that you do as, as, as you are at the moment. So wherever you go, Compare will follow you, so don't have to worry about it. <laughs> and the, uh, you could join BASE, anybody could join BASE. BASE is, a, is you can have individual membership. And that's our website, which is base, uh, www.base.ac.uk slash membership. It's, it's, it's straightforward. It's a British Association for Comparative and International Education. You could Google it, and we are there all the time. And it's really good for students because what we do is one of the things. The networking is very important to me personally. I've networked and I've, I've traveled and I met people from different places, and, and it's, it's a really good opportunity. Even when you do research, that's very important as well. Personal research is important to network. Uh, there is the funding which uh, Helen talked about is also a very good opportunity because we have funded and this year we're, we're, we're looking for student actually to put event and, 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 and we couldn't really find anybody so we really do appreciate that people, there's money available, why can't we do it? So that's also it's a good chance 
and it's a good opportunity given to us by base. And, 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 and this is one of them, and we've taken it. And we'll take it again. And I hope that whoever comes after us will take it as well. Yeah, and I should add, from my perspective, being from Northern Ireland, we're particularly interested in having events like this in other places. Of course, I'm very happy to be here in Brighton. Um, but I, I'm also, I have a particular interest in, in students in other universities that are a bit further afield, a bit further north, and who would like to have the opportunity to attend something like this, but it's a little bit too far. So if you, if you have a particular idea or interest in that, then we'd like to hear from you. In addition, for membership, if you would like to join BASE today or renew your membership, please see Tara at some point during the day. And Tara is the student, is uh, active presented in the conference, and also she's based, so she's a double. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a good interlude. Uh, my name is Tara Sprague. I'm based at the University of Bristol. I serve as the base webmaster, and I've been involved in base for a number of years. But I'm also the convener of the Akfiat conference. So I'm going to introduce you to what is UCFIAT. So on behalf of UCFIAT, welcome to the joint conference today. Um, UCFIAT is very pleased to be involved in this event today, particularly because we're looking to expand our work with postgraduate students and had a very successful conference at the Institute of Education in the autumn term and are looking to, um, to become more involved with what the postgraduate um, community is doing. So, Alcatia is the UK Forum for International Education and Training. And um, as an organization, it was founded over 20 years ago, and it's a forum that brings together different constituent groups, including academics, NGOs, consultants, professional organizations, and governments. Um, so whereas BASE has individual memberships, and most of us within BASE are in the field of and in the academic realm. Um, UCFIAT brings together all of these different groups and we're working for education and development internationally. So we're basis focusing on comparative and international education. Um, UCFIAT is very much focused on development, education and training internationally. So our, um, you know, the people that are involved in UCFIAT are engaged in research, training and teaching and also providing an advisory service to policymakers. Again, membership with UCFIA is not individual, we have organizational members. So if you are involved in any of these organizations, these are the organizations that are currently members of UCFIA. Um, so if you're a base member, or if you're with um, IOE or University of Sussex or University of Bristol, then you're in part of the UCFIA, larger UCFIA community, which allows you to participate in any UCFIA events. So what are those? Um, first, um, how we're managed. Um, we are governed by a board of trustees and an executive committee. Desmond Birmingham from Save the Children is our chair of trustees at the moment and Professor Hugh Lauder from the University of Bath. So here you can kind of see this is, this is again representing um, the, the mixture of what UCFIA is. Desmond being from Save the Children and um, Hugh being from the academic side. That's really what UCFIA is about. It's a forum bringing those different constituent groups together. Our regular activities are um, workshops and events around current issues. We typically do an event when the Global Monitoring Report comes out every year, whether that's a launch or a workshop type of activity. UCFIA usually um, does something in the UK about the Global Monitoring Report. We engage with DFID on different policy development and research priorities, whether that's meeting um, with their education sector um, in small groups or having larger events where UCFIA constituent members can come um, and talk about policy. And our larger flagship organ activity is the UK um, is the International Conference on Education and Development. This is held every two years at Oxford. Um, where it's a really large conference around um, between 400 and 500 people from across these different groups. And we're going to be having our next conference this September. So um, if you want some more information, there's a few flyers out on the table about the conference. Um, University of Sussex is going to be very well represented at this conference. Um, all of the keynote and um, lead speakers here today are going to be um, um, from the professoriate at Sussex are going to be involved in the conference for the colloquium and um, and roundtables and events. It's important to say that as BASE is a member organization of UCFIAT, the UCFIAT conference is also the BASE conference. So BASE has its 
own conference, separate conference every other year, and then when it's an UCFIAT year, on the off year, the base conference is part of the UCFIAT conference. So the base AGM and the keynote, um, one of the keynote presentations from this year from Elaine Underhalter, our, the base president, will be part of the UCFIAT conference. So that's the next big base event, really, is the UCFIAT conference. So please get involved in that as well. We also have recently started an online community of practice, which um, at the moment is mo mostly consisting of blog posts and different conversations about issues on education and development, most of which right now is on post-2015. So here are our different websites. We have our, um, our main website, ucfia.org, where you can find out more about the organization itself and get resources from past events. The Ukviet Community of Practice is org slash COP. The conference has its own website, which is managed by CFPT, our partner organization that helps us to manage the conference. And you can, of course, follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And today, if you tweet, we've created a hashtag for today to continue the conversation um, during the day and on to beyond today. So if you're into Twitter, you can hashtag um, post15ed just for this event. Right. So if you're interested in base membership, come and see me because I have membership forms. Our membership secretary can't be here today. Um, and if you're interested in knowing more about Akfiat, I'll be here all day as well. Thank you very much. Thank you.